in my last video saying the intro <laughs> blew away someone's cat my apologies my apologies if i scare you with my intros my apologies i didn't know my voice scares people but yeah welcome back to another video now today i just want to quickly say the title is not clickbait it's a rumor that's going around and i'm getting messaged everywhere that's right you you want to you want to add me on twitter i'll reply whenever i'm free i'll make sure i respond you have any concerns anything you want to raise around meta materials or any other stocks you want me to look at let me know down in the comments um yeah today's question will be what other stocks are you invested in that's considerably a penny stock yeah so what's under five dollars right now that you're heavily invested in and you want me to look into for a video maybe let me know down in the comments that's the question of today so you just saw a big sell-off with mmat there from the last 24 hours we last looked at it you're going to get into everything that's been going on. I mean, MMTOP there. We're going to be getting into everything that's been going on with MMAT, Metamaterials, MMTOP, the dividend stock, um, the latest news, the rumors around the oil assets being sold, institutional ownership increasing by a mile, and all that stuff. My name's ODR. You know what it stands for. Own damn research. I don't need to remind you all. It's the key to success. No, no, you buy, no, you hold. I am not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. You're trusted on process when you know what you bought, when you know what you hold. Sit back, relax, enjoy today's video. Smash the like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get cracking on. Remember, what I keep saying, if you smash today's video with like button, this video gets shared out with the MMAT family army, MMAT, MMTOP, Meta Materials community, stock market and crypto market community as well. So smash that like button as hard as you can and this video gets out there to everyone, you legends. So yeah, um, obviously on Twitter, I do post stocks and crypto information if you want to come check me out there as well before I make a video on it. So MMTOP, this was posted by MMA Meta Materials News. Now I do want to say this is news and rumors, all right? This is an official company page or anything like that it's just a mmat investor posting metamaterials news and rumors so yeah um mmtop konoko phillips bio so konoko phillips rumor is cop may be buying mmtop the largest oil find in recent history 3.2 billion barrels of oil 172 000 acres western texas near permian basin it is in its infancy with less than 10 wells, oil slash natural gas, or gas and gallium. Early bird gets the warm. Conoco Phillips is selling assets and is searching for replacements. So yeah, MMTOP Conoco Phillips buyout. It's a rumor. It's a rumor. What is going on? Um. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of people, you know, confused in the room and all that stuff i'm here saying listen it's a rumor um it's not confirmed so there's nothing to make out of this but then again it's somewhat you know news that's spreading around with mmat meta materials i'm gonna give my point around it i do think it's a rumor i don't think this is true i don't think you know this is confirmed if it was confirmed we would have already known by now because whenever any rumors come out with meta materials we always find out you know within the next few hours or the next few days straight away if it's true or not and as of now it's been a silent period with this rumor so i think this is just a rumor and you know there's nothing going further from here so i'm not going to be talking about much around that now mma mm let's talk about mmtop first mmtop price over the last few days has been going crazy yes the market is down overall today i can't lie a lot of stocks are down mmat itself is down as well but then again, MMTOP has its has its had its crazy spike yesterday. In fact, it nearly hit two dollars yesterday alone. Um, look at that. Today's volume. The market just opened. What the time right now is two thirty three p.m. in the UK. The market just about opened, and MMTOP's volume is already way above its average volume. More than five hundred thousand more than its average volume already in MMTOP crazy itself with that stat there so mmtop is already off to a good start with volume wise it's getting the attention today and the day is just getting started now now let's move on to mmat meta materials um the actual company itself so no really yeah we're not really seeing any movement in the last 24 hours however we have seen a massive sell-off within you know um the last few days we're going back down again and i don't want to see the 160 range i feel as if you know um 
it's time for us to go to the two dollar range whether we're in a bear market or not let's try to get that two dollar range within the next you know week or so now this week or next week we need to be holding above two dollars hopefully that t35 short squeeze could be happening anytime it could be happening anytime and it will be happening anytime hopefully and on top of that the dividend spin-off deadline i'm going to remind you all is coming to an end oil itself has been so close to hit three digits and i know oil itself will hit three digits so yeah um Metamaterials, nothing crazy with this volume. Like I said, we've been struggling so much with the volume recently. Market just opened. We haven't had the best start to the you know day so far with the volume wise compared to MMTOP. But I know MMAT will hopefully soon pick up again. MMAT Metamaterials, as the day goes by, more and more people are getting their hands on it, as more and more people are looking into it. There's a reason why institutions are buying in. I don't care if you say they're lending out shares and all these rubbish. Listen, the CEO. He's given us a sign. He himself, a couple of days ago, exercised warrants. The George himself, the CEO of Metamaterials. That's a big sign there for big things to come. Big institutions also loading up. Like you can see, February itself has been a crazy month. I'm while I'm scrolling down. Guess what? I'm still in February. I'm still scrolling down, and it's February. Look at that. From where? From JG JJJ Advisors all the way up to GWM Advisors. And look at this institutional ownership yesterday. 306,000 bought, 126,000. Like, we're seeing hundreds and hundreds and thousands of holders and buyers and millions and holders and buyers. This is, um, if you're an investor, this is the time to be bullish for the, you know, the uh, short term and the long term because we're seeing so many positive signs for short squeeze to be happening hopefully soon enough. That T35 short squeeze countdown going down, Meta Materials itself, big institutions loading up so much, let alone in February. 2022 is crazy with institutional ownership increase and involvement um the ceo as well hinting big stuff to come um catalyst wise meta material is going to be attending an event very soon um like you can see here it's been posted they're going to be attending the color optic stripe at the bank note and currency conference 2022 they're you know attending another event there are more events the more better it is with a massive increase in volume within just a few minutes that's crazy itself so hopefully today could be a very good day for meta materials um but yeah price wise it's not looking very good i'm not i'm gonna be honest it's not looking very good at all uh, price wise is not looking very good but yeah um institutional ownership the more involvement the more better it is with us attending more events more recognition more things more partnerships and all these stuff coming away with catalyst i'm not worried about mmat meta materials they're making a good amount of money revenues there as well it's just all about the stuff around the t35 short squeeze that's the major thing the dividends that's one of the biggest things for this company meta materials dividends t35 short squeeze i would even focus about if the dividends you know is coming next month hopefully i don't want to see no there can't even be any delays the deadline is literally next month march so let's have a positive mindset around next month and let's hope this month ends off with a good um you know month and the next month we go crazy because i'm gonna be honest this month so far the price yes we've been you know going up and down but outside the price wise mmat meta materials has been doing very good institutional ownership um warrants being exercised uh partnerships coming in rumors of assets being sold yes they are rumors but it could be true you never know um big institutions coming in so many stuff going on just this month alone and i just hope this is actually you know a good thing going further like oil itself is nearly triple digits oil itself was five dollars away from being triple digits and we know oil is what our dividend oil is what affects our dividend price so if oil is good we should be happy if oil's price is good we should be happy because that's what our dividend is going to be about oil our assets are literally oil torch like energy resources when it was torch energy resources last year the assets were oil and that's what's being sold to pay out our dividends MMTOP is here for a reason. MMAT is here for the long term future, the company. But yeah, see you all in my next video. Thank you for the love and support. Obviously, come join the free Discord link in the description below. Positive vibes all around. And if you want a free share of any stock worth between 200 pounds when you fund your account to invest it to buy stocks, you just sign up with the free trade. You're signing up with tomorrow for gives you a free share of any stock worth between 200 pounds when you fund your account to invest it. And on top of that, if you want Binance discounts, trading fees off when you you know sign up to Binance, you my sign up link to Binance, you sign up using Marifero gives you five um five percent of trading fees. Here's my morning tweet. And morning all, let's hope the market is on a good run today and hoping for some press releases to end the week. Hopefully with MMAT Metamaterials, Vinco Ventures, Lucon Technology, AMC, 
and neo i've got to add in ispo as well i'm going to be hopefully making my next video around ocgn okugan the vaccine company and on top of that um what else was it ispo and yeah share this video around see you all in my next one